welcome to Back to the Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play just like the main riff um, that repeats throughout Green Onions. Just one thing to note, um, I trapped my thumb so I don't have much use of it which is why it's very fat and a different colour. I'm going to avoid using my thumb today so just uh, bear that in mind. It's very very sore and I, I shouldn't really be playing with it but I wanted to get a tutorial out today <laughs> um, and this one has been requested every now and then and occasionally I do this with my private students as well. Um, this is generally what's being played. We're doing it in the original key so it's in F minor so on the screen now all the notes are the scale of F minor. I'll teach it in the piano sound actually. I'll teach it in the piano sound and then I can demonstrate it in the nearest like organ sound that I have. It's like a blues organ type sound. So I'll teach both hands at the same time. So left hand is blue, right hand is orange, um, but it's just chords really. I'll teach it nice and slow. Here is middle C, so if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. So we're going to start on this F. So it might seem a little bit higher up. Um, but it's, this is where it's sort of played, the area that it's played in the organ sound. So you're going to play an F with the left hand first, and the right hand is going to play an F, followed by C and F. So we have... And then we have an A flat major chord. So A flat in the left hand, with root position of A flat major in the right hand, so it's A flat, C and E flat. So, so far we have... And then we have a B... A B flat major chord, second inversion, so B flat in the left hand. In the right hand that's F, B flat and D. And then you just play a C at the end of that. You play C's together if you wanted to. So, so far we have... Repeat it. And then we're into this next part. So it's like, the, you know, it's like the 12 bar blues, basically. So you've got like four bars of the root. So in this case, it's like based around F minor. And then we're into the B flat. So this is the fourth, so it goes into the fourth in the 12 bar blues. I have done a whole video about the 12 bar blues structure. So I'll link my blues videos down below. And then you're gonna play that B flat major chord again, but you're gonna break it up. So you're gonna play B flat, F, B flat and D. And then we have D flat major. So that's D flat in the left hand and then first inversion of D flat major in the right hand. So that's F, A flat and D flat. So we have... And they're gonna move that shape up one to E flat major first inversion. So that's E flat, G, B flat, uh, E flat. <laughs> so there we have... We have, again, just in the piano sound. And then it goes to the fifth. So 12 bar blues for one bar. So we have C, and then we're going to play first break up first inversion of C major. So that's E, G, and C. So we play this E flat major again into F major first inversion. 
So F in the left hand and then A, C, F in the right hand. So I'll just do that again. So. And then you do one bar of the B flat again. And then it'll be in two. the 12 bars done. So I'll just do it again from the C. So we have it's so strange not using my thumb. It's so instinctive to want to use it, but I just can't. It's so painful. Um, so yeah, obviously don't necessarily completely copy the fingers that I'm using in my left hand. Ideally, you would be using your thumb. So from the beginning, if I play it slowly, we have. once in the organ setting as well. The nearest one I have is of course the blues organ. In the piano sound obviously that sounded quite high up but in the blues in the organ sound it obviously sounds a lot more deeper so this is then would be the right octave to play it in. But if you play it in the piano sound you could have a go at playing it in a different octave if you think that sounds better or moving the left hand down or playing around with different octaves depending on which different sounds you have on your keyboard or piano. So we're not going to do the solo today. It's just that main riff. Just um, I think it's a, qu a quite good one to practice for beginners, particularly. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.